Hi, uh, welcome to the second part of my workflow. Um, in this part, I'm, I'm taking it through uh, Substance Painter. You can see I brought the ZBrush uh, model in now after tweaking it in 3D Studio Max. I redid the UVs and tweaked some of the polygons, the topology, and then I re exported the FBX files and brought them in to um, Substance Painter. And you can see I've baked down the maps uh, uh, using the high detailed one uh, from the ZBrush and uh, baked that onto the low poly version to give me my normal map and the pattern there you can see and first off I um, experiment with lots of sort of stone textures and then I use a um, generate a dirt map to, to put some dirt into those grooves The good thing about substance painters is that you can try different things out. You know, it doesn't doesn't really matter because it's uh, you don't lose anything in substance painter. Change textures, change resolution. It's, it's you don't lose anything, which is pretty cool. I sound tired on recording this really late at night, so <laughs> just finish work. <clears throat> I thought I'd just drop this before I go to bed. So hope you uh, find it useful in some way. I think it's been a while, so I'm overdubbing this. This is. Just in case you're curious, this was originally a Twitch stream, and I'm now just overdubbing uh, what I was saying there before. Uh, the tw Twitch stream was quite long. I didn't think it was worth just putting that up as it was because it was uh, it was a long stream. I mean, it wasn't that long, but it was too long to put up on. YouTube, I think. One thing I've learned with YouTube people like sort of quick, snappy, to the point videos. And this one I think is still a bit long. I can even split it and speed this part up because it does take some time. Here I'm painting moss by hand. But I think I ditched this actually because it didn't turn out very well. Just having a look at it in the renderer in Substance Painter before I export the maps. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> so 
Put your shadows on. It's quite a simple model. <laughs> Obviously, I was just doing this just to just to show the workflow from ZBrush all the way into Unity. And you'll see in a second, I go, I drop this into a HDLP project file inside Unity. Substance Painter. It's quite good actually, it's not bad. I don't think it's really lacking, well it's lacking a few things, but I think the renderer inside Substance Painter could do with, you know, it's a, a bit like Mom's that you can bring in multiple objects, that would be really cool. So you can almost like set up a little scene. We really need to add that into Substance Painter. Once they get it, once they get that in there, it'll be really powerful. Well, it's really powerful anyway, but it'd be even even better. And here I'm exporting the um, HDLP texture set for Unity, and here is the Unity project HDLP. So. I already had this set up, I was working on something else, so I thought I'd bring it into here and just drop it in. <clears throat> yeah, you can see there's no pattern on there, it's just a very basic flat geometry, it's nothing special. And the normal maps go on, it looks pretty cool. Putting in some lights to just make it stand out a little more. <clears throat> I'm really enjoying uh, Unity's HDRP system, it's really powerful. Uh, once 2019.3 is finalised, I think it will be on par with Unreal. I use both, and, and this is looking really nice. Especially with the post processing uh, version 2, it's, it's quite powerful. You can see I'm comparing the two there, from, comparing all the way through from ZBrush, Substance Painter, Max and Unity. You can see it's, it comes through really well. If you, get, if you can bake it out, out of ZBrush, if you can export it and then bake it right in Substance Painter you can get pretty much a really strong looking image. There you go, this, this is the ZBrush file, Max file, Painter and Unity. Add another light, let's make it look interesting. It's still it's a bit messy, it's not perfect. But it does the job. So that was it really. Pretty straightforward all the way through from ZBrush to Unity. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.